Hello, and welcome to your reading. Welcome to your past, present, future reading. My name is Astaria Dream, and I am a psychic intuitive. And in today's reading, we're going to do a psychic tarot reading about your past, present, future. So let's grab the cards, past, present, future, and then we'll grab some clarifiers with the other deck. So let's start with the past card. Let's get a present card. <laughs> One wanted to peek out. Okay, and let's get a future card. Okay, perfect. So, we've got refusing to see in the past. Two of swords. We've got <laughs> the hermit, seek in the present and we've got another two spread your wings and fly okay i love that there we go we have two twos it's almost like you're going back to where you started but someplace even better but you had to go within first to find the answers um We'll pull some clarifiers because, I mean, looking at the card, I could say something very general. Yeah, the more you ground, the more you go nature, the more you go within, the more you're starting to release. Could be about some release work. Could also be about, hmm, could be about the retrograde energies going on right now. Let's, um, that just started coming in, but let's, um, let's get the clarifiers so we know which way we're going with this, right? Because that could go anyway. And I don't want to give you guys some general reading. Clarify the past, refusing to see. Give me one more. <laughs> Interesting. Perfect. Oh my god, another two. Wow, I can't even make this up. And these are both, okay, so these cards are oracle cards. Ever. They all line up with tarot. Both of these are two of swords. What's clarifying that the two of swords refusing to see is two of swords mental conflict. Wow, that's freaking, I, I'm sorry. I just love when that stuff happens. Okay, and we've also got choose wisely, which is not in focus, however... Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, is it, as long as it's in focus over there, that's all that matters. Okay. So, let's clarify the seat card in the present. Perfect. Two came out together. Wow, that's freaking awesome. Three of Cups, which is Rejoice and Celebration. And Patience. Okay, ooh, another major, I like that. Got some heavy emotions around this, let's see. Let's go spread your wings and fly, right? Oh, wow, did you guys see that? I picked up the deck and didn't even start, and was it two? Oh my God, it's three, I'm thinking, wow, oh my God, I swear I shuffled two. Wow, we have sacral chakra and heart chakra. And, oh my God, oh my God, and it's another two, right? It is the second chakra and the set of seven right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. You guys see that, right? It's another two, it's another two, it's another two, it's another two. I can't even make this up, right? I do jumpers. They just flew out of the deck and flew, flew on the freaking, oh my God, they just came out of nowhere. Like, I can't control that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five twos, okay? So this is all about balance, right? Twos um, in numerology are about balance. So this is what we're going to touch on. Um, okay. I kind of feel I want to start with where you're at. Hold on one second. This is about another person. Let me tap in these energies right now because this feels familiar, but it feels somebody else. I feel alone in this, uh, but not. it's not bad. Um, this is a whole new world I'm going into. <sighs> and that's what the patient's about. I think you're already ready to go there. Okay, the mental conflict, that choice. Okay, 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 all right. All right, I see what's going on here. Sorry, I just need to kind of tap in the energies first, right? Because I want to give you the most accurate at, uh, reading and not just say something. I don't like to read the cards, right? I like to connect to spirit with what I'm seeing and feeling and hearing along with the cards. So I'm like, ah, I know what's happening, right? Okay, if you're going to see mental conflict, choose wisely. Um, right, here's the crossroads, right? You have to make a choice. Um, spirit is, I'm sorry, it's like out of focus out there, but I feel like you guys can see them here. I don't know what's going on. Um, 
you imagine yourself on your life path going a certain direction. It felt like something maybe even new you might have been starting. However, whatever this new journey was or wherever this life, it, they're saying path. So I'm assuming this was something you were starting or some kind of journey, right? Um, whatever path you were on, your your actual life path is uh, wrapped around it. However, it, it, I don't think it started yet, okay? You had to make a decision, and I feel like you made a decision out of um, emotion, and you did what you wanted to do in that moment. I want what I want when I want it, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, here's the thing, right? When we make decisions out of ego... Um, and not like stepping back and be the witness and the observer and just say, okay, you know, what is spirit trying to direct me towards? You might miss an opportunity. And it wasn't that you were going to miss an opportunity. It was that you were going to go down one of these wrong paths, right? Here's the thing. They will all get you there. But spirit, if you follow them, their path is a straight shot. This path, well, you may have to go 100 miles off the road just to get back here, right? This path, I don't know, you might end up going backwards and in circles before you get up here, right? And this one, who knows, you're in an Antarctica and then it's like you come back to start. Who knows, right? But they're all like detours and roadblocks. But eventually, you'll get back right here and you'll start to the middle. However, um, it's not happening on the timeline. You wanted it to, to be, so that caused a lot of mental conflict. You were refusing to see what um, Spirit was trying to say. Uh, you may have known it. Okay, so take this how it resonates with you. Because some of you may have, like, if you're in tune and you, like, trust your intuition, you might have felt you knew what to do. However, it's 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 like, well, I know I need to do this, but I don't want to because here's what I want to do. And so you might have ignored it and went forward with your plans anyways. However, if you guys aren't um, that in tune, that's totally fine. Like, there, there's no right or wrong. So then I think it's just, like, because the other one felt stubborn energy, but the, if you're not, like, really connected, and it's like, I knew better, but I did it anyway, type energy, um, it, if, it feels more upsets. It feels like, okay, well, I'm stuck somewhere I don't want to be, doing something I don't want to do, because I thought I could get out of the situation quicker, or whatever, whatever this path was, this new path that was leading you down an import, important life purpose, a life path, right? It didn't happen when you thought. So I feel like some of you are almost mad, sad, not happy, fighting it, like hard pill to swallow energy, right? This is the past, okay? So we're going to go into the future, okay? No, no, no. I'm so, Well, the, the future from the past, but present energies, right? <laughs> in the past, it's all the future. When you're in this moment, here's what's to come. But the past, present, future. So we're going to go into here presently where you're at. Okay, so it's interesting because... Um, these are all uh, completely separate energy cards. However, I can relate them all as one. So, um, short way to put it is if you trust the process and are patient, and if you be patient with yourself, because I feel like it could have been a hard pill for somebody to swallow, and you just allow the process to happen and just like really connect, maybe connect with your intuition, go within, just get in that flow state and release control, the rejoicing celebration is going to be your outcome, right? Because then you're going down that middle path. You actually are um, allowing spirit to guide you. So there's still a little resistance with the patient energy. I feel from where you were. Like this was really holding tight to the quantum field. I can't breathe, right? But here it's relaxed a little bit. It's kind of coming and going. It's, 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 um, I have to remind myself to be patient. I don't like it, but I've almost got to acceptance. I'm accepting it for now or I'm um, accepting it as what it is. You're getting there. Some of you might actually be there, but um, it just leaps and bounds from where you were, right? Um, so, one, be patient, whether you have to tell yourself to be patient or remind yourself to be patient because I don't think there's been that full surrender moment yet, right? Um, it still feels like, hold on, because the more you let the process happen, the, the better outcome it's going to be because you're going to have that straight shot right to victory, to success. So, um, you're getting there. You're getting to this moment of like surrender. That's what it's all leading to because once you kind of surrender and you're just like, okay, I, I get it. It's not what I want when I want it. It's not on my timeline because I feel like what you're going after is correct and accurate for you. However, it's just not right now, right? It's just hold on a little bit longer and I don't know when. I'm not getting any dates at the moment. Um, however, um, it's just not today. So, and not in the upcoming weeks. So it's kind of like relax energy because you just need to maybe even just go have some fun. Okay, so double message with the rejoice. Sure. 
the more you trust, get in that flow state, and just surrender to spirit, the better outcome you'll get fast shot. But however, let's try some healthy distractions, right? So it's like, don't waste your, if you're uh, up in the northern hemisphere, like don't waste your whole summer, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. Just don't waste your time now, your present moment time. Um, because I feel like you, for some of you back here, it's like focused on the outcome. And I think you were too focused on it. And it's almost that's what pushed the timeline further back. However, it, it's a call to also like go. So for those of you that is summer, I know people watch from all over the world and it's not summer everywhere. However, if it is, then it's go have some fun in the sun. It really doesn't matter. I think you can go have some fun in the snow. It's whatever. It's just go have some fun. Healthy distractions. Enjoy the moment now. Don't worry about what's to come next week, next month, next year, whatever. It will happen when it's going to happen. Because here's the thing. Your path you're trying to get to is the path spirit wants you on. It's just, like I said, not in your timeline. So you will get there. All roads lead here to the light. It's just hold on a little bit longer, right? So what do you do in the meantime? Be in present moment. Connect with family and friends. Remain heart-centered. Go out and have some fun. Just go smile. Like, what makes you smile? What makes you laugh? Like, go have some fun. This is going to be very important for you right now. For some of you, it could be connecting in nature, you know, um, animal therapy, heart shock. Green is heart shock or therapy, something. But it's just like, because that, it's that healthy distraction, right? But the more also you do go within, the more you kind of like will help you surrender, okay? That's where you're at now. Where you're going, uh, where you're going, you're always going. I, that sounds a little whatever, but here's the, oh yeah, the twos are like freaking stuck waiting, big energy, wow. Why did I not even connect that till right now? Because what I say, we had one, two, three, four, five twos, right? Okay, so just really quick side tangent, like if you go through tarot, like aces of the new beginnings, two is just the thought plan of starting to form something. Three is a little bit like, okay, uh, it's not just a thought. It's like pen to paper and I'm preparing. But four is action energy. Like you're you're now doing something here with the physical of it, just, right? So the twos, we're still in that thought form energy, right? You, like I said, you here, you're in the, that four energy. Like I'm creating, I'm, I'm planning. I'm, you're threes and fours, like preparing, planning. Like you're doing everything to make it happen. However, spirit's like, no, no, no. You are in a two stage. What do you mean? Like... What do you mean? Oh, that's great because I think you even here start to relax into the three, which is okay because I feel like you took a step back, but that's okay. That's good, right? Oh, uh, yeah, there's the four too. Okay. So, um, <laughs> me and numbers, right? If you guys see my channel. Anyways, um, here's the thing. Twos are like, nope, 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 not yet. The door is opened, right? The ace is that new beginning that you know, oh, spark of a new idea, the aha moment, like clarity. However, you know what you're supposed to do. So maybe you know your self purpose, your life mission. Maybe it's about a career. Maybe it's about a move. Maybe it's about a job. Maybe it's a lover, whatever it is, because it's going to be different for all of us since this is general. But um, whatever that new beginning, that path that you want to head down, you've already had your aha moment and know what it is and you know how to fulfill it. So that's why I think there's that rush, rush. I want it now because you know how to get there and you know what to do so um and some of you it's almost like let the chips fall where they may i don't care i just want it however uh, it feels like it's gonna backfire so don't do that because the twos are still like it's still the thought form right so the angels and your team of life are up 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 there trying to set everything up so when the time is right everything will fall into place for you right they're paving the path yeah that's beautiful right because it's like, which road do I take? Well, they're trying to pave this path for you, right? And if you wait, look at, like I said, all roads lead to the light. Like I said that here, didn't matter. All roads lead to the light. But the angels and your team of light are working behind the scenes to make this an easy road for you. The, the more you release control and the more you go down this path instead of, I want, you know, my will, my way, my outcome. Because that's a bunch of ro like roadblocks, detours, turnarounds, ugh, stop signs. Like it's not a good path. So they're working behind the scenes to put certain people, places, and things in event for you. So when you get there and it's time to move forward down that path and it's time to walk that path, it is like cakewalk. It's like easy peasy, right? Okay, so um, it's a lot of new, 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 new energy. So for some of you, you could be forming new relationships. Again, whether that's work career could be a move could be romance but i'm feeling a lot of romance 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I totally was meant to say, I, I did not even mean to say that. That happens a lot to me. I'm like trying to say what I want to say as a reader. However, I say these words and I'm, like, and I'm like, no, I'm trying to say, and it just still keeps coming out, right? That's definitely spirit taking over. Okay, then we're going to go with romance because I was about to just say relationships, right? Leave it very general because it's not going to be romance for all of us. Like some of you, it might be a career opportunity. It might be a relationship with a, with a family member or reconnecting with a friend, but I, that's what I want to say as the reader. However, when I do, I call it word vomit. When I say words that I don't even know I'm saying and I like, they just come out. <laughs> that's definitely spirit. So maybe the door is opening for the one or the next relationship because the word romance came out, right? Um, Oh my God. Right, because it's right next to the heart chakra card. Wow. Okay, because if y'all see me read when the camera is filmed towards me, you see I don't like look at the cards and I'm off like sometimes even my eyes closed. So I'm like not tuning into the cards because I'm tuning into spirit. I'm so like, it's relationships, it's relationships. And I say romance and I'm not even noticing that the heart chakra card is right there. Hello, right? Okay, so yeah, it's all about love. I mean, it's all about love everything in life it's one of the, the main reasons we're here um so yeah <laughs> even if this is a new job or career or move or home or location or something i think that somebody new is going to come in with love because those two cards are not next to each other for no reason they jumped out together two shocker cards with all the freaking <gasps> two shocker cards with all the twos <gasps> Yeah, this is a divine match because I just said two shocker cards coming out. Wow, with the two, two, two. Okay, ooh, yeah. What was I? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I totally forgot to say that. What did I say earlier on the reading? It's all about balance, right? If you look up like angel number two, 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 it it it's about balance. However. That's almost what needed to be balanced out your emotions. So you might have had some heart chakra to heal. And you had to get your emotional something checked and set in a point. That, I don't know. I That's what they're saying. What does that even mean? You're, you're checked set in a point. Maybe you need to check your emotions so you could be in a good set point to move forward. I don't know. That's just how it was said to me. So if I'm trying to translate that to me that would be you had some stuff to release you had to let go of could be uh emotional baggage right stuff in the past things need to be cleared so you can go forward because um you could still yeah it just feels past though it really feels you could be still thinking off all on stuff but i feel like as you go along there might have been people helping along the way it's a bunch of little things but it, it, it's so It's so subtle, it's hard to even notice that I don't even know if you notice it. And I, I, I don't want that to be the focal point of the reading. Anyways, um, well, all I'm trying to say is you had some more healing to do within your heart before you could open up your heart to love, before you could go on to this relationship, whatever it is. Like, it's all about love. Love is love, right? Unconditional love. It doesn't have to be romance love. It could be any type of love for a parent, a spouse, a neighbor. Just love is love to me, right? Um, however, I did say romance, so we're going to go take that part as it resonates with you. But there was something you needed to go through, and it was probably this path. But no, they're saying behind the scenes. It's not even any, that's why that was so irrelevant when I was like, why am I saying this? I'm like, they don't even want me saying this, so I was just going off that tangent. Um, it's not you. That's who you're going to meet. That's what they're doing behind the scenes. Oh my God, because remember I said they're like setting stuff up for you to make this like a cakewalk? They're working out some... You, you too could have some heart chakra stuff that needs to be cleared, don't we all, right? But it really feels heavier more on their side. They're working out some stuff on their side. It might even be with their family, the person you're about to meet. Um, so you guys can come in alignment together. Um, you're just going to share a love of something. Some kind of maybe bond over animals. Something... Um, Okay, so I'm hearing chance encounter. However, I think that's okay. So that's it, it now. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Working with spirit. Um, that's what they're saying. Okay, so if you were to start that life path now, you might miss this opportunity, right? Um, and, and they really want you to run into this person, and this person's supposed to be important part of your life. So that's also why if you go down this part, this path, or this path, this path, this chance encounter with them. It's not going to be in alignment yet because you guys aren't supposed to meet yet. And things are being worked behind the scenes to get you two to meet. So that's why I also supposed to trust the process and let it go. Because when you go down this path, 
at the right time, this person will be ready and you two can be like, I mean, this, I don't know, the two twos right there. You guys both need to be in balance, right? The harmony and balance. And one of you may be more in harmony and balance than the other, but you both have to be on that same page in order to meet. Because if one vibration is up here and one vibration is down here, you guys are never going to meet because you guys have vibrated different frequencies. So that's why you also have to let go and allow the process because little by little, you guys are matching right and you guys will match and that's when your vibrations match is when you meet okay and that's when it's time to walk down the path and that's when oh my god okay i know this is a two but look at this look at how similar these cards are right which path do i choose choose wisely which door do i go down choices like movement choices decision but this is now the time right that's so interesting the past started out with all these different options and the future is ending with movement decisions and choices right so it's literally now it's time to walk now it's time to walk down the door and it's interesting they're kind of standing down that gold door where the light is and that's what i said the all roads lead to the light so you will get down there because that's even what happened in here right so that's beautiful it's not time allow the process because things have to come into balance first with you and somebody else i don't think you've met this person yet and they feel foreign um energy like you haven't met them unknown to go down the right path because this is part of the life path you guys have a soul contract together simply put so patience 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 let go trust the process you'll know when you know if not spirit will, de will definitely if you're not in tune like i said that's fine no right or wrong um spirit will give you nudges like you'll know um somehow of a physical sense instead of like a spiritual sense like it's just all of a sudden you'll get a call or it'll be through a person or whatever it is. But like when the time is now, the time will be known to you and you'll know, you'll get the message one way or the other, whether it's very blunt and it's straightforward action or it's like a sign and synchronicity on in synchronistic moments and angel number, like whatever it is. Right. Um, and you'll all relate to it differently, but like it's coming. The time is coming. This is destiny. This is where you're supposed to be. And that's when you spread your wings and fly, whether it's starting a new career, a new love, a move, location. It's something, whatever your life path, this is something to do with a soul contract with somebody else. Okay. Now I feel like I'm kind of just repeating myself. So <laughs> we'll wrap up the reading right here. I hope you guys got something out of this reading. And if you guys got anything and it resonated, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something out of it, right? And if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And then there's a bell right next to it. You'll want to hit that bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. That next message just might be the message you need to hear today. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed.